reception uh, globally as opposed to here in the Netherlands? Um, you know, um, I've been doing uh, parties for many years, uh, DJing for many years, and at a certain point I was doing 300 parties a year in Holland. So by the time I got my first you know, breakthrough and went out of Holland, everything was so new to me, you know, and still is because the world is it's, it's a big place. So, you know, everywhere I go, it's so different and it's so cool to see how everybody's embracing the music different. Like if you compare Australia to America, it's two different things or even South America, you know, and that's to me, it's it's all good, you know. Eventually, we still um, we still in it for the same thing. That's dance music, so great. Your production, I mean, it just seems that everything is being re re remixed by Chucky at the moment. Uh, tell us about your production and what you've been up to over the last year, what you've got planned. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remix as much as I can because um, I feel that I need content for my sets, you know. Um, I like to play other people's music, but then again, some places they really want a pure Chucky sound set. So I do, you know, I try to do that more. So this is why I've been um, trying to do as much as I can as far as remixing. Um, it's really fun to do a lot of stuff I have to do on tour, a lot of stuff I can do in the studio. Uh, sometimes it doesn't always work like that, that you have days for a production. Sometimes you have crazy deadlines, but then you want to do that record, so you have to do it. And um, Well, it challenges me, and that's the most important thing. I like to, I like to be challenged. And how important do you feel uh, events like this are for your, just your general perception in the industry? Or I think, I think um, we need um, events like this. Um, these are like anchors for our scene, you know, for our industry. Um, like I always say, because <clears throat> they were asking me about, you know, how do you feel about the whole scene getting commercialized like this? And I think because we have strong, a strong fundament and including the strong anchors, like as places like uh, Ibiza, you know, you, know, you need this kind of place in order to feed the market, to feed the underground and keep it healthy and strong. So I'm really happy with, I would say, this as an anchor, uh, the Amsterdam Dance Event, the 16th edition, and it's bigger than ever, and it's great. You've got a five-hour set, uh, I think, tomorrow night. I do? Yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. No, no, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's really fun, and um, hopefully I can play a lot of new stuff, um, but also, because it's a five-hour set, I can take people on a journey, and... Hopefully, I'm going back to back with my friends, and it's going to be nice. Um, I have Gregor Salto on stage, and that's you know I, have, I just released a record with him called "What Happens in Vegas." Stays in Vegas, inspired by Las Vegas, of yep. course. And it's going to be—it's I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be like a mini Dirty Dutch, whereby I do like a nine-hour set, and then for in front of thirty thousand people. Now we do it in front of I don't know twelve hundred people, and you know five-hour set. But I think it's going to be fun and interesting, especially because you have people from all over the world come and see you you know, see what it's like. So that's going to be in pretty interesting. Cool. And the next year for Chucky? Next year for Chucky, uh, I want to, as I really mean it, I want to uh, travel less. Um, sounds like a champagne promise, of course, but I do want to travel less. And the reason why is because I want to spend more time in the studio and also, um, you know, spend more time with friends and, and family because uh, this year has been absolutely bananas. I think my summer started somewhere in May and ended like last week. You know what I'm saying? So it's been a really long summer for me. Uh, so I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to do it more in a in a, in, in a better structure. Like you know, I, this year I did uh, residencies at um, um, Las Vegas, Miami, and New York, and it worked out really well because you have places you go back in you know in a certain system. So I want to do like South American residencies next year, and also you know do some in Europe, and also like one in London, one in Paris, and this is how I want to do it for next year so I could play in those places and, you know, take it, take it more easy. Well, good luck, dude. I know you're hungry, so we're going to let you go. Thanks again. No, Cheers. Actually, actually, I'm not hungry, but I have this food tasting thing I have to do for, um, for, for BBC Radio with Just Jules. So I'm going to take him to one of my favorite food spots and see what, he's think, uh, what he likes. Okay, thank you, Chucky, okay, very much. Yes. What up, it's your boy Chucky, and I represent the Dirty Dutch, and you're watching 365 Mag, baby.